Hello and welcome back to the Sharks World. Today we're going to be going over something that I'm sure a number of you have been interested in. Actual shark attack statistics. We are going to be going over the numbers on an international level as well as a species based level. What this video is intended to do is to show what actual shark attack statistics are like. And what you'll find is that they are not what the media or movies portray them to be. So as always, grab you a Celsius, have a seat at the table, and let's see what these actual shark attack statistics have in store for us. Before we get started, I'd like to mention that I'm going to be getting all of my numbers from the Florida Museum of Natural History's website, in particular, the International Shark Attack File website. As of recording this video, this site was updated on January 24th, 2022, and is going to be covering the time span of 2021. Here are two definitions that are going to be vitally important for the context of this video. Ensure that you read them thoroughly. Now, on the screen are the confirmed numbers of bites that we had in the year of 2021. We had 73 unprovoked bites and 39 provoked bites. We had a few categories below them as well, but we will get to those in a bit. Now, one thing I would like for you to take note of is that these are classified as unprovoked and provoked bites, not attacks. The reality of a lot of shark instances is that most of the time the shark bites once and then it leaves. Very rarely does the shark come back for a second time. Now, this is not to say that whenever a shark does bite a person that it isn't tragic, because it is. But what I'm here to do is to put a little bit of reality on what actually happens when it comes to these shark instances. And the reality is, most of the time, the shark is just exploring. It bites once, and then it leaves. So. How did these numbers stack up against the previous years? In particular, 2016 to 2020. Well, it turns out that it's about right in line. Between 2016 and 2020, for the average of those years was about 72. However, when it comes to fatalities, in 2020, they were significantly less than what they are in 2021. However, I imagine that we can attribute that to the pandemic as there was significantly less people in the water. In regards to the categories below provoked and unprovoked bites, when it comes to recording shark attacks, scientists aren't always able to determine when something involved a shark or not. A lot of times people report these to the scientists, they gather the evidence, and then they make their conclusions from there. The cases of doubtful, no assignment could be made, and not confirmed, sometimes attribute to other animals. For example, one was attributed to a stingray. Three of them were attributed to a bony fish, though I don't know which bony fish in particular. And one was just a guy who scraped against a rock. You see what I mean? This chart here shows the worldwide shark bite statistics based on country, with the US leading in total number of bites, but Australia leading and total number of fatalities with a grand total of three this ladies and gentlemen is the reality of what shark spite statistics look like now what the media tells you not the astronomical numbers that some people will try to scare you with this right here is the empirical data what it highlights is sharks kill a lot less people than other animals do cows kill more people than sharks Horses kill more people than sharks. Dogs, despite the fact that I love them, they kill way more people than sharks. Even ants kill more people than sharks. I'm not joking, go look it up. This chart shows the breakdown of unprovoked shark bites in the US, with Florida having the most, and one fatality occurring in California. Now, this number of bites is significantly higher than it was in 2020. But again, I imagine we can attribute that to the pandemic. This chart shows the breakdown of water activities 
that were attributed most with shark bites, with surfing and board sports unsurprisingly being at the top, contributing to over half. However, take a notice that snorkeling and diving didn't attribute to that much compared to the other numbers. For those of you who wish to go swimming with sharks or snorkel with them, this numbers should be invigorating to you. However, I will say make sure that you still have safety divers with you when you go swim with sharks, or at least have people who have swam with sharks before. This chart is a condensed version of all the facts we just went over. The section I would like you to take particular notice to is this one over here on the right, where it states that there are 548 known species of sharks, but only 13 have been known to attack humans 10 or more confirmed times. This is a perfect segue into the next portion of this video. Here we are going to be going over shark bite statistics on a species based level. And once again, I'm going to be getting my numbers from the Florida Museum of Natural History's International Shark Attack File. In particular, the species implicated in attacks section. Now, keep in mind that the statistics we are about to be going over are all the way back from 1580 to the present day. Also keep in mind that the numbers we are going to be going over are for confirmed cases. Meaning this, there are unconfirmed cases out there that are not on this chart. Sometimes scientists are unable to identify the species of the attack or whether or not it was a shark bite in general. For these statistics, I'm going to be covering three numbers, non-fatal bites, fatal bites, and the grand total of those two put together. With that being said, we are going to get the big three out of the way, starting with the great white shark. The great white shark has 297 non-fatal bites, 57 fatal bites, for a total of 354. The tiger shark has 102 non-fatal bites, 36 fatal bites, for a total of 138. The bull shark has 95 non-fatal bites, 26 fatal bites, for a grand total of 121 bites. Okay, let's pause here for a moment. Is I have a point that I would like to beat a dead horse with, and it starts with my background. I have a degree in mass communications, and in that particular field, what we do is we learn about the media and how it works. And one of the most important things that we learn is narrative. You want to know why Shark's reputation is in the toilet right now? It's because of the narrative that we present them in. The Great White Shark 1580 to the present day, that is over 400 years, has only killed 57 people. However, the number that is usually presented is that 354 number. This is a very sneaky trick that people will often use, especially the media, whereas they don't necessarily lie to you, but they don't tell you the whole truth. Now I mentioned some folks are going to say, but Sharktos. This doesn't include the provoked numbers along with it. That is not the point. The point is, Shark's reputation has been battered, beaten, and broken over the past few generations because of the narrative. That's why in this channel, on all the videos that I've made and all the videos that I'm going to make, I always try to include some sort of source or something that you can draw on so you can see the full scope of the narrative and what the facts are for yourself. I also imagine that there is going to be some people who ask, Sharktoes, how come you have a degree in mass communications, but you don't have a degree in marine biology? That's because there's plenty of shark biologists and marine biologists out there. But who's going to be Shark's PR rep? Who's going to be the guy that takes what the scientists and the marine biologists say and take and put it into terms that the average person can understand? Who's going to be the guy, whereas when there is a shark attack, to say, whoa, 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 everyone, pause, put the pitchforks down, let's look at the data, and let's figure out what actually happened in terms of unprovoked shark bites for the past 400 years, the great white shark 
the shark that we've made movies about, the shark that everybody loves to fear, has killed 57 people. 57. Let that sink in for a moment. If you truly believe that sharks are monsters, man-eaters, or whatever it is that you want to call them, based on the number 57, that alone should show you how much the deck is stacked against sharks' reputation. If we want to change the way the world sees sharks, if we want to get people to stop looking at sharks' teeth, and we want people to start caring about sharks, what we have to challenge and change is the narrative. And that starts with the numbers. On the note of numbers, let me go ahead and give out a few more statistics. The Great Reef Shark has had eight non-fatal bites, one fatality for a total of nine. The Oceanic White Tip, which some people will call the most dangerous shark, has had 12 non-fatal bites and three fatalities for a total of 15. The Sand Tiger Shark, the shark you will often see in aquariums because of its quote-unquote scary looking face, has had 36 non-fatal bites, zero fatal bites, for a total of 36. The short fin mako has had eight non-fatal bites, one fatality for a total of nine, and the lemon shark has had 10 non-fatal bites, zero fatalities, for a total of 10. If you would like to see the full list, I will leave a link to it in the description below. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the reality of actual shark bite statistics. Now what the media will tell you, now what some people will try to scare you with, these here, the hard empirical numbers. Let me once again be very, very clear. This video is not to say that the shark bites that have occurred are not tragic. They are. And my condolences goes out to anybody who has been bitten by sharks or know somebody who has been bitten by sharks. But the point of this video is to bring a dose of reality to the narrative of sharks and to start changing it. That's why I started this channel. That's why I'm going to keep pushing this channel so that we can get the facts out there on the table for everybody to see. For now, give me some of your thoughts on these shark bite statistics in the comments below. This is where we're gonna end things for now. Thank you once again for giving me some of your time and I'll see you next time in the Sharks World. Until then.